Hello everyone, this is Alex and welcome to Ageways on the Avenue, an interview series where we hit the streets to hear from you, the resilient seniors, dedicated caregivers, passionate professionals, and supportive community members of Southeast Michigan. Today we're at Blue Water Pride celebrating diversity and inclusion while raising awareness about the experiences of our LGBTQ plus seniors. Hi, my name is David Hind. I work for the Alzheimer's Association, and the Alzheimer's Association wanted us to be present at Blue Water Pride. My name is Sarah Hurley. I work for St. Clair County Community Mental Health, and I'm here at Pride today just to make sure that everybody that's part of this community knows how to access um, vital resources and feels affirmed, welcomed, supported if they would ever need to access mental health, behavioral health uh, care of any kind. I'm George. Um, I'm an officer at the American Legion Post 8 here in Port Huron. And what brings me to pride is to let the community know that everyone that served is welcomed in our organization. And um, all of us that served during the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell know that nothing changed except for the camaraderie. And we have friends that don't feel comfortable in the veteran organizations. So we're reaching out to let them know everyone's welcomed. Well, I'm not in a parade. I'm only at the event, but it's Judy Lewis, and I'm the lead trainer with My Gen Michigan. My name is Ryan McCann, and I'm the director of the St. Clair County Department of Veterans Affairs. Um, we try to make it out to any community events, but specifically ones where we may hit a demographic of veterans who normally wouldn't come into our office or approach us, kind of in an effort to be more approachable because we really are here to serve everybody in St. Clair County who we can. Barbara Payton and I am here because I want to bring the community together more and I am also the new director of Blue Water Allies here in town and I'm just thrilled because we need to see representation of ourselves. We need to be more visible and for people to know that they're not alone and that we do have many in our community that do support us and embrace us. In general, I think the members of our community are not seen, uh, sometimes taken for granted. And we know it's important to get our services out to older folks in the LGBTQ plus community because we are more greatly impacted by dementia. It is so important to celebrate our senior LGBTQIA members because um, these are the folks that paved the way. These are the folks that were there during the AIDS epidemic, during um, the Stonewall riots, many of them. These are the elders of this community and it is so important um, to, to be together and to celebrate because um, you know, when they were coming up in the world, we did not have pride festivals like this. This was not, um, it wasn't safe for them to celebrate the way that we can celebrate now. And it's, it's just a beautiful thing to be able to do and to kind of, um, you know, uh, honor those who've come before. Because they went through so much just being um, in the closet and silenced and almost felt like it was illegal from what I've talked to them. And they need to know that this is a celebration of their ability to be free, to be them. And so it's, uh, it's important to us to, uh, to support everyone to be themselves, no matter their age, sex, gender, sexual preference, or anything. Religious, that we support you. Everybody knows somebody. And we, as we age, we become a little bit more vulnerable sometimes. A little more fragile and it's always nice to know that there are people that care um and if you don't come out as an ally then i don't know that you care i think it's important to celebrate and to honor and to give a little extra bit of attention to our seniors in the lgbtqi plus arena um, largely because a lot of things have changed especially with the military since a lot of the seniors serve um, we do a lot with discharge upgrades, wherein maybe an individual was uh, discharged from the service for homosexuality. That's not something that's okay. And it was never okay. It's not something that's officially okay anymore. So we do a good job and we have a lot of success in helping them 
upgrade their discharges so that they're uh, eligible for more benefits federally? Well, it's very important, once again, because of the fact that even as an older woman myself, I um, was not comfortable being out. And when I lived in Port Huron back in the 80s, after coming out of high school, I, you know, there was no support system. So we were taught that it wasn't safe and that we weren't um, valuable within our own community. So even though we do have resources now, the elder community, they don't know that. And even if they do know it, they don't necessarily feel comfortable reaching out because of the stigma that we grew up with. So I think it's important for the younger generation to reach out to those that came before them because we do all stand on the shoulders of giants. I think it's important that we include all of our allies in everything we do for our seniors. Um, I think the more folks who come out just supporting and partnering with us will make it easier for us to get the support and services we need across the board. Um, for seniors, I would say just continuing to make sure that they feel comfortable accessing services, that they know that there are providers that um, will work with them, that will support them in any ways that they need to, that they can find providers who um, who are like them? If if that's important, finding a um, you know a trans therapist if that is important to them, things like that that they just know that there um, are services and supports for them. I know that the VA has opened up a lot of services and stuff for the veterans that have come out and need the support. So far, I'm seeing a lot of things that are moving forward, especially with the LA Larson Civil Rights Act. Uh, now we have legal protections. Now it's up to us to change hearts. I think that there's been a lot of change recently, especially within the federal VA. Um, and normally I wouldn't, you know, toot their horn if it wasn't worth tooting. But a lot of attention has been paid, especially with Pride Month, specifically with the VA, um, where it's really opened the door for an introduction into the system for those who maybe were a little reticent before. Um, and it really hooks them up with continuing services. Um, so I just like to see more promotion of that to get veterans in the door who would honestly be afraid to, to even call a VA office. I would absolutely like to see us reach out to them more. I think that sometimes um, the senior population is a forgotten population and they don't have people reaching out to them enough. So I really want to make an effort to reach out to our senior population more. I think everybody needs to have their voices heard. Everybody needs to embrace the concept of pride as being all inclusive for everyone. And I think the day that we can all stand together is the day that we'll see less need for pride parades and more inclusion and togetherness. Um, I would just like to tell them that you are so loved and valued and supported and um, there are just are so many people here for you. I'm going to suggest that they ask everyone they know to come out as an ally. That I'm trying to form an army of allies so that we can let people know that there are more of us than there are of them. Um, people. Yeah, and specifically speaking, um, as you know, a veteran service officer and doing what I do to assist veterans in St. Clair County. Um, you know, all I would say is I encourage you to call us. If you're a veteran of any age, of any era, of any sex, uh, designation, you name it. We serve all veterans who served, so we're happy to find out whatever we can to help them out. Well, I was my mother's caregiver for six years when she had dementia. And I will say that oftentimes we don't reach out to people to support us while we are caring for our elderly loved ones. and. I wasn't even aware myself of the services available within our own county, and it would have been a very valuable thing for me. So I have empathy for people when they're caring for their loved ones, and there are so many resources within our community that I really want people to be aware of them and to share them at the Ally Center.